Hey guys, welcome back to Mets Be Adventurous. My name's Chad, and today I got a pretty awesome video for you. I was recently sent a gift from Trailer Valet for the first YouTube video that I ever made, giving a review on the uh, Trailer Valet XL. The video is right up here if you guys want to click on it and check it out. So this gift they sent me was a ball hitch mount. It is from their Blackout series, which is a division of Trailer Valet. Their ball mounts are coated in their black regal powder coat. It's got 700 hours of corrosion resistance and it is tough as can be. And I'll tell you, the Trailer Valet, the ball mounts, and a multitude of their other products are coated with the same coating. It's kind of their claim to fame and it has held up great. I love it on my Trailer Valet. So today, we're gonna give it a test and see how it does on this ball mount. So here's the ball mount that Trailer Valet sent me from their Blackout series. This ball mount is completely coated in that black wrinkle powder coating. Even the, uh, the balls are coated in it. It's got a complete coating. There's no steel showing. Even the interior of it seems to be coated. It's a uh, very heavy duty. It's going to probably outlast any other trailer hitch I've ever had. I want to show you guys one that I've used previously for the past couple of years. Um, I retired it a couple of years ago, but you can see how corroded it is where the it rides against the truck or the hitch on the truck and creates a spot where the paint wears off and rust. The ball is completely rusted out. The interior of it is rusted and that's just degrading the weight rating of the hitch. So other than putting this on my truck and driving around with the trailer to review it, I thought I'd do kind of a different review today and give it a torture test. This powder coating seems pretty tough, but we're gonna put it to its paces. So for the first test, we've got a knife. We're gonna try to scrape some of it off and see if we can get down to bare metal. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna go to a 16 ounce hammer and see what that does. And then finally, we're gonna see what a one ton pickup truck does to it. The first item on the durability test is the pocket knife. We just got a plain old cheap pocket knife, nothing crazy. Um, it is pretty sharp. So I'm gonna see if I can scratch off this uh, powder coating and get down to bare metal. So let's see what happens. So you can see after a couple passes with the pocket knife, you can see that it looks like maybe I got down to some bare metal right there on that corner. Um, and it's got some pretty deep gouges, but so far it looks like the coating's covered those gouges on the side. I believe the corner is probably the weakest part for the coating. However, that's a uh, pretty in-depth test. I don't think you're gonna see that much wear like I just did with the pocket knife with it being on your truck and your receiver. All right, I kind of wanted to give a side-by-side -side here on this other hitch that I had with the uh, knife test. So with this knife, I can actually take it and take the paint right off. I could not do that with the trailer valet. All I could do was this on the edge of it. And if I go down, you can see that actually goes into bare metal, but you can just shave the paint and the protective layers right off this hitch. So I would say trailer valet. Now it's time for the hammer test. So I've got a uh, 16 ounce claw hammer and I'm just going to strike this a couple times and we're going to see what happens. After a few direct blows with the 16 ounce hammer, you can see there's uh, some minor, I would say scuffs on there. 
Um, however, it's not dented. The powder coating hasn't flaked off. Uh, there's no real damage to it. I would say it, uh, one versus the hammer. So I'm gonna hit the uh, old hitch with the 16 ounce hammer and see how it fares. Well, you can see one thing's evident that the rust from inside has totally come off and you can definitely tell that it's rusted from the inside. So I would say trailer valet won on that one too. Even though it's kind of an unfair battle because the trailer valley is brand new and this is a couple of years old. Also, please don't mind my son who's been making noise in the background of all these videos this entire time. Loxley, can you say hi? Say hi. Say hi. He's my tester, helper tester. All right, for the next part of the video, we're gonna run this bad boy over with a one-ton truck and see what happens. Well, after getting ran over by a one-ton truck, there's some dusty tire marks on it. But other than that, it looks like it's solid, no damage done. And to the other hitch, same thing here, maybe some dusty tire marks, no damage done. Seems like it's uh, holding strong, although the inside of it's pretty rusted out, so I wouldn't trust it for too much longer. Overall, I would say the Blackout series ball mount has survived the torture test. It has some scuffs, some scuffs and some bangs and some bruises but nothing that's gonna affect the strength or functionality of the hitch. And I think it's gonna last a long time through any kind of weather or any kind of towing you put it through. If you like this video, please give us a follow and a like. Thanks guys, have a good day.